Lily. Oh. Hi guys. Today we are at the honeybee farm. be your tour guide and first and second station okay so this is the gaff tree Gaff3. our Gaff3. first tree yeah the national tree and uae Gaff3. okay so the gaff tree is rich in uh, rich in protein and minerals for athletes for vegetarian and on diet person okay and then excellent for growing kids like you okay Whoa. <laughs> let's go with the second station so we have the summer tree the summer tree is the most beneficial one. Why? Because rich in all kinds of vitamins, rich in protein for fast digestion and constipation, and with and uh, it has natural antibacterial and antifungal properties. Okay, that's the summer tree. Let's proceed to the cedar tree. So this one is our cedar tree. The uh -huh. cedar tree is rich in iron, calcium, and magnesium can cure sore throat, cold, and cough. It also boasts your immune system. So this is, this is the cedar tree? Yeah, the cedar tree is, uh, it can cure with the snake bite. Oh. The ash of a snake bite. Okay. okay. So let's proceed, proceed to the second station. Second station is our beehive, the home of the bees. The first one, we have the algae boo. Yeah. Yes. And mud pond. Mud and clay hives. We had also this one, our palm. And then the cave hives is the Emirati beehive. Okay, we're still using it here. Some other uh, places you can see our cave hive. Okay? So we will go here in our modern hive. We have the wooden. Wooden is from US and Europe. We call it the international beehive. Okay? 
Whoa, where's the Hata Hive? Yes, this one. Where? Uh, this one is distribu personally distributed with our company because it's easily, it's easy to carry and it's easy to clean. Okay, as you can see, uh, this is are the colors because the the bee the bees will easily recognize the color because they don't want black and red. Responsibilities. The first one we have the cleaner bees. The cleaner bees they are the one who cleaning the beehive and the whole of the hexagon wax so the queen bee can lay her eggs inside of there. Okay, I'll show you. So the brown cover here that is the cocoon. Okay, and the white inside I'll show you. Where's the queen bee? Yeah, I'll show you the queen bee, sir. Okay. Here, you can come closer, ma'am. Yeah. Inside of the hole, there's a larva or there's a baby. Ah, uh, yes, the uh, white one. Yeah, I'll, I'll come to you. Yeah. Okay, here, sir, the white one inside of Another the hole. Color. Yeah, that is the larva or the baby of the queen. And the brown cover, that is the cocoon. Okay, come here. I'll show you. The white one inside, that is the baby of the queen. Bee, okay, it's like a worm. You can see it? The white one. Yeah, here, here in this hole. You can see it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. The yeah, the hole. Yeah. That is the baby of the queen bee or the larva. And the brown cover, that is the cocoon. Here, ma'am. I'll show it to you. Here, you can check this hole. Oh. Yeah. Okay, they have different oh. hatching. If it's a queen bee, 16 days until it hatch. If it's a drone bee or male bee, 24 days until it hatch. But if it's a worker bee, 21 days until it hatch. So I'll show you the queen bee. Okay, let me check this frame. Yeah, she's on frame number four. Ah, number four, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me, bees. Yeah, okay. Ah, there she is. See, you can see the queen bee here, here, yeah. at the top, at the top. Blue head. Look. Blue head. Uh, this one? The, this one, this one. This one. Okay. Blue head. The blue spot. Okay, look, 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 look. Oh. Here. Oh, yeah, she's bigger, right? Oh, but That's we're not allowed bee. to touch her. Oops, don't touch her. Yeah, okay. She doesn't look like a queen. Yeah, but she's bigger than the other bees. And she has two stomachs. The first one is for digestion. And the second one is for the honeycomb. So she's the one who started everything in the beehive. The only job for the queen bee is to lay an eggs, And she's laying an eggs 1,500 to 2,000 eggs every day. Okay? Every day. Yes. She can live up to five years. But the rest, they can live only for three months. The, Okay, the worker bees, after three months, they will gonna die, okay? Because they are not sleeping and they doesn't have rest, okay? They're all working together 24 hours a day. Okay, so we have the second job for the worker bees. We have the nurse bee. The nurse bee, they are the one who feeding all the baby bees or all the baby larvas inside of the cocoon through mouth to mouth, okay? If it's a queen bee, they will keep feeding that by royal jelly. The royal jelly is the natural from the head of the nurse bee. That's why she's different and she's powerful among them. But if it's a worker bees or drone bees, they will keep feeding that by honey. So the queen bee doesn't eat honey. Only the royal jelly from the nurse bee. Okay, if the queen bee dies in this bee, or for example, there's no queen bee anymore, all the worker bees or all the female bees will 
gathered or will set a meeting. This is true. Oh. Yes, it's like an election. Yeah. Okay, look at this cocoon. Okay. After they set a meeting or after they gathered, they will choose which one is the healthiest baby larva or the strongest one inside of the cocoon. And the nurse be the job for them is to feed that by royal jelly. Then she will become the newest queen, queen bee. Yeah. From the beginning, the queen bee is a normal bee. But because of the royal jelly, she will become bigger. She will have a two stomach, oh. and she will lay an eggs every day. And she and, and she will have a blue spot. No, the blue spot is only artificial. Our beekeeper are the one who made that, so we can recognize her easily. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that, that's not all. Uh, that's a fake. <laughs> okay, we are getting her from like her wings. Lens. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a contact lens. We are getting her from her wings. Then we will put a very quickly pen mark at the top of her head because we doesn't want to get a stung by the queen bee right yeah so we have also the architect bees the architect bees are the one who made this honeycomb or hexagon wax in this frame okay i'll show you that so this is the sample of our empty frame okay this is how we started okay we're just putting a wax paper or baking paper at the top of this wire so we can extract the honeycomb easily then we will put inside of the beehive with the bees and then the bees will make their own honeycomb by chewing the pollen and honey together and vomit it out in this frame, okay? And to make the honey, they will chew the pollen and nectar together and vomit it out inside of the hole of the hexagon wax, yeah. So all of these are made by their vomits, yeah. So although uh, worker bees that you can see a while ago around the queen bee, that is all the security bees. They are the one who's in charge to protect their beehive and their queen. And they are the one who's stunging us the most. Because if they feel threatened or attacked, they will stung us to defend themselves. But sadly, once they stung us, they will gonna die immediately. Why? Oh, okay. Because the half of their abdomen or their stinger stuck on our skin. Okay? Oh, okay. Yeah, but for the queen bee, she will never gonna die. She has a lot of stinger. She can stung you several times. It's like a very beautiful that one. Okay, and all the flying bees that you can see around the beehive and staying outside of the beehive. Yeah, if I come this way, come here, come here, come this side. This is the only way for them to come in and to come out the small hole. Look at this one. This is their door, okay? And they are the ones collecting the pollen and nectar. Look, look at the other bee. They have pollen on their hand. Look, oh. yeah, see? The white ones? The, yeah, yeah. Look, look. There. See, they are the ones collecting the pollen and nectar from the flowers. Then after that, they will gonna come back inside of the beehive and they will give the pollen to the receiver bees. The receiver bees through mouth to mouth, okay? The receiver bees, they are the ones aggregating the pollen and honey inside of the honeycomb. So I'll show you the honey now, okay? They have too much intelligence. Yeah, and very organized. See, this is very heavy. Look at that. See? See, this is full of honey. Okay? And it's very heavy. <laughs> okay, so this is full of wax, right? Mm. Then once you press it, the honey will oh, wow. come out. Yeah, see? Mm. Here, in your glove. Yeah. And the bees will come to your glove. They will be attracted to your heart. Oh my. <laughs> okay, so they will eat that. And the architect bees will rebuild it again. <laughs> okay? By the way, for the honeycomb, it will take two weeks for them to make it. And for the honey, it will take one month to make it. Yeah. Okay? So that is all the honey. And as you can see, this frame, there's no pupa on it. Or there's no cocoon. Okay? Yeah, because of the receiver bees. They are the one who's deciding where they can put the pollen and honey inside of the honeycomb. So we can collect this frame. And the other frames, we will not collect it because they need to produce more and they need to continue their life cycle. Okay? So by the way, did you hear the buzzing noise? Yeah. yeah. yeah the reason why is because they're flapping their wings 191 times per second or Whoa. 11,000 times per minute. And they are using their wings inside of the beehive so they can have air inside of it. Yeah, so even if they are Italian bees, they can survive here in UAE. Even if it's summer, but only for three months. But if it's winter, Smiley. they can survive 
more than three months but still depends because too much food it can fill the bees as well okay and they can fly only four to five kilometers away from their beehive why because if they fly too far from that they cannot survive they will gonna die because they doesn't have honey to eat and water to drink and because they are not allowed to enter or to come in in other beehives here in our garden to get honey inside to eat it yeah because we have a security bees the security bees they are the one who's checking everything in the beehive if that bee also are belong to their beehive or belong to their family their by the sense of odor or smell and by their movements and that is the only way for them to communicate to each other that's why they have an antenna so they can sense the movements of the other bees and they are wiggling their butt to talk to each other yeah you can wiggle your butt to talk with them yeah okay yeah if they wiggle their butt in eight figure it means they found the food and all the oh. collector bees will come to that bee and to that flower and will collect all the pollen and nectar and will come back to the same beehive, right guys? Yeah, so do you have any questions about the bees? How will you know? <laughs> okay, Can I taste so this? now I will let you hold the frame and I'll take a photo each of you. I I'd like to taste it. Can I taste it? <laughs> the, the fresh? Can I put it inside? Yeah. Mom, I'll give you the frames. Is that comb made by you or by... No, sir, by the bees. Made by their uh, pollen, uh, chewing the pollen and honey together, then vomit it out. See, they are uh, having a sh uh, hexagon shape, right? They are molding that one by their mouth. They doesn't like uh, circle or any shape because they doesn't want space. Yes, they, they doesn't want any space on their honeycomb. So they get the pollen and start honey and uh, Away. Yeah, they're eating the wax, then she can come out from the cocoon. Yeah, she came, she came, she came out. Yeah. Yes. There! Yeah, here, here. Yeah, guys, there guys, you guys. go! Oh, wow! Happy birthday! <laughs> 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 there you go. See, every day there's a hot cheek. Every day. Yeah, every day. Because the hot cheek for the queen bee, 16 days after the hatch. For the drone bees for, or the male bees, Yeah. <laughs> 